In this video, I want to talk about a very common error in ASP.NET MVC projects that you'll get that's very difficult to trace the reason for. Let's say you have a project and you renamed everything in the project and the solution to something else. Okay, now the one thing you want to make sure your data is go to global.asax. After you change this namespace for this application, also remember to change the namespace of this application in the code behind XML markup file. Right click on the global.asax, go to view markup, and change this value to the new namespace. clean and rebuild the solution. Also in the bin folder, you'll make sure that the previous DLLs that exist are deleted. The new ones remain. However, when you run this project, you will still get an error. You will get this error. This error says the type or namespace plus could not be found. It says one of your files has a using plus statement. The previous namespace is plus. Now I checked I don't have any code file that has using plus. If I did, this code would not have compiled again. So this gives you a hint. It says the source file that I found this is in the temporary ASP.NET files, that's the cache that ASP.NET maintains. And it is for a CS file, but if you look at the details, it's for a view that, it's for this index view that ASP.NET MVC has compiled into this file. You know that all views get compiled dynamically at runtime the first time you run your application. The first ever time it's compiled, all these views get compiled into a CS file using a technology called Code DOM. This class that it has compiled has this using plus statement. Now, index.html in the home folder, in the views folder, con contentiously has this. That's what it contains. Let's go and check that. In the views folder, in the home folder, index.html has no such thing. What I used to do earlier, I scratched my head a lot about this error. I'm sure you do as well if you get this error. It says, here is the, the culpable file. So I would go and delete this file. I would go to this folder and actually just delete everything. Now it can't clear the cache until Visual Studio is open. So I would skip these files. I would close Visual Studio. I would go back to this folder, delete everything. And I would run the solution in Visual Studio again. But still, the error would not go. You see, this error is very confusing. So I would restart IIS, clear my cache, do a whole bunch of things, but this error would not go. So what I would do is I would close Visual Studio. I would just go and delete all the files in the temporary ASP.NET files folder. That's completely delete ASP.NET cache, not just for this project, but for any other project. And run it again, and I would still get the same error. And this is very frustrating. If you get this error, don't panic. Check the web config that's in the views folder. Not the web config that's in the root of your project, but the web config that's inside the views folder. In the namespaces element, there are all the namespaces that are referenced by all the views in your project. 
Now this is a file that we didn't change and we needed to change manually. So this is the culprit. Here is a namespace from the old version. If I change this, this error will now go away. And it goes away. two people, the husband and the wife, become parents. It is when a child is born. Is that not true? Where are the parents before the birth of the child? And what is that child? The child is the root of the parents. The child is also the father of the parents. Because of the child, the parents are. This shows how completely hollow our egos are. What is the use of this beingness when it is the beingness that has determined all this play? Awareness is the absolute, but who is the witness of the absolute? I'm a little bit of a 